Hi guys! Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. So excuse me if I'm super awkward in this video. I'm not used to the whole talking to the camera thing and I'm just generally an awkward person in real life. So that's definitely a winning combination. For my first YouTube video, I thought I'd do a Singapore haul of all the things I got in Singapore because I just came back from Singapore last night actually. So super jet lagged and I thought, why not film my first ever YouTube video when I'm jet lagged? Makes sense, right? Okay. Let's just get started. The first place I went to in Singapore was Sephora. I'm not really a beauty junkie, like I normally spend my money on like clothes and fashion items, but um, there's just something about the way that Sephora's laid out and it's like so bright and everything's color coordinated and it just draws me in every single time, like I can't help it. The first couple of things I got from Sephora were like the their sheet masks. I never really used sheet masks before, but um, I tried one of them in Singapore and they were so nice. Once you put them on, they're so cooling and relaxing. It's like perfect after a long day or if you've just been sitting on the computer, your eyes are tired and sore. And um, you leave them on for like 20 minutes and then once you peel them off, it leaves your skin like super smooth and plump. So it's really nice. I think these go for about five Singapore dollars each. So I think it's more of like a treat thing, but... It's really good and I got this um, this one in honey which is nourishing and balancing and then I got the rose one which is ultra hydrating and brightening and then the last one I got was pomegranate which is um, antioxidant and energizing looking forward to using those up and then I picked up this um, urban decay eyeliner set and I don't know where all my pencil eyeliners have gone. I think either I've misplaced them or maybe they were running out anyway because they're like teeny tiny and I always misplace them. So I thought it's time for me to get some new ones. And this is really good because it comes in a set of eight colors, but it's double-ended. So it's only like four pencils. And the, the colors are like, they've got your standard black and brown, obviously, but they've also got like blue and purple, but they're kind of like darker colors. So it's Still quite neutral I think it's nothing too bright because I normally just wear kind of like natural eye makeup no bright colors I really like the Urban Decay ones I mean they're quite like soft on the waterline if you want to use them and they last quite a long time so I'm um, looking forward to using that as well and then I picked up the um, Benefit push-up liner I always use the black one like day to day and they had they came out with a couple of new colored ones I think there was like a purple one a green one a blue one and this one's the brown one, which I thought was good if I wanted like a more natural, softer look. Professional License to Blot Instant Oil Blotting Stick. I quite like Benefit's Professional range, like I use their um, primer and then I think they have a um, finishing powder, but this one, I'm not sure if it's like, it looks like this inside and it's like a wax, it looks like a glue stick. But um, apparently, I'm, I've not tried it yet, but apparently it's good like throughout the day for touch-ups if you get an oily T-zone. I have really, really oily skin, so I always need to like bring those oil blowing um, sheets around. So I think this would be a good alternative maybe. Looking, I'll try that out and let you know how I get along with this. Another tube of my favorite um, Too Faced mascara, the Better Than Sex mascara. It's my favorite mascara ever, so I just had to pick up another one. Um, I find that this mascara though, once you, um, the first time you use it, it's a little bit too wet so you have to like wait a while maybe after a couple of uses and it dries up it becomes the best mascara ever, so. And then I got um, the mini beauty blenders. I always use a beauty blender to apply my foundation so I thought I'd get the mini ones maybe for harder to reach areas like around my nose and maybe for concealer and stuff that would be handy so I got that. And the last thing I got from Sephora, probably the most exciting purchase from Sephora, which is the Marc Jacobs Lolita Eyeshadow Palette. So it's like the, the neutral, the natural shades. And um, it looks like this inside, actually. I didn't need um, another eyeshadow palette, obviously. I've got the Naked palettes and I'm not really like, not really an eyeshadow junkie, but I mean, I saw this on the display and I just could not leave without it. It's so cute. And it's like really sleek bullet packaging, which I think would be great for traveling. And it's got one of those, um, those buttons that you push and it just goes up like this. And then inside you've got seven 
neutral. It's, they're more like pinky taupey shades actually, but I think they'd be really nice. And I swatched them in store and they're quite pigmented and like buttery smooth. So looking forward to trying that out. I think I said that like with all these products, I'm looking forward to trying that out, but I am, so don't you true. I stopped at Bath and Body Works and I picked up a whole lot of hand sanitizers. I'm kind of like a germaphobe, so especially here, I'm always getting on the tube and the bus and stuff. I need a hand sanitizer in my bag at all times, so I thought I'd stock up. The first set I got is Warm Vanilla Sugar. It's quite a nice sweet scent. And then there's this one called Pink Chiffon, which I think kind of has like a, has a fresh scent. And this one has like glitter particles in it, but it doesn't really leave your hands like super, super glittery, so that's good. And then I got this one is Japanese cherry blossom and then another sweet one vanilla berry sorbet and then this one is dancing waters which also has like a fresh fresh beachy sort of scent so that's quite nice as well moving on to the clothing items now I went into Zara it's probably not the most Singaporean store, but you know, I always have to go into Zara. I picked up this dress, which is sort of like a... It's like a swing dress, so it's quite relaxed. Just um, stops just above the knee. It's got kind of like a high neck and these flared sleeves, which I am loving at the moment. I can't get enough of flared sleeves. And what really drew me in was like the pattern, obviously. It's got such a gorgeous print. It's kind of like tile print. And um, the material is quite interesting actually, it's like, it reminds me of like a towel, like a soft fleecy towel, but I think that'd be really nice in the winter, like nice and cozy. And I can just imagine wearing these with like a pair of black tights and black boots and you've got your outfit sorted. The other thing I picked up from Zara is this dress, it's like a button up faux suede dress. and. You know, um, those denim ones have been so in recently, everyone's been wearing them, and I really like the denim button-up ones, but sometimes the denim material can get a bit stiff, and if you're just like sitting down or just moving around, I don't know, I feel like it can get a bit stiff, so this one's a nice alternative, because um, it's so soft, this suede, this faux suede is so soft, and it just like um, hangs on your body really nicely, and it's kind of like a sh shift style silhouette I'd say so it's super casual um, I think that'll be really nice to style up I'll probably um, wear these on the blog at some point on my fashion blog which I'll link below if you don't know it um, but yeah they'll feature on there sooner or later and I went into Topshop and I picked up this again it's quite hard to show on camera but I'll wear it on my blog it's a jumpsuit but it's um, not full length, it's like culottes, shorts length. And um, the front is like a deep V wrap style and then the back is backless too. And it's got a drawstring waist. And I've never really worn this style of thing before. I don't really wear jumpsuits, but um, I tried it on in the store and it, it's really nice. It's like the kind of thing you can just like throw on and you've got a full outfit. So I'm looking forward to styling this up. And I really, really like the prints and colors. It's quite like autumnal. Last but definitely not least, I um, walked past the Alexander Wang store in Singapore and a few months ago I saw um, Diana Agron from Glee. She was wearing like their ankle boots with the cutout heel. Yeah, I saw her in real life because she was doing a play here and she like walked past me. I was like, oh, I need those boots in my life. And um, I walked past the store in Singapore and they had them on display. I think I also saw um, Victoria from, from In The Fro. She has a pair, but she's got like the higher heeled version that I wanted like because I never ever wear heels so it's one of the low boot version. I'm um and ahhing I was like should I get them should I not and I went back and I checked um, online on the UK store and actually it was much cheaper in the Singapore store so I'm not sure if it was like the conversion rates or what but I was like okay if I want to buy them I'm just gonna buy them here and so I just bit the bullet and got them and even though I had no space in my luggage I managed to fit them in somehow didn't bring the box so I've only got the shoes with me but this is what they look like ah, they're so amazing they've got the Chelsea boot thing here it's kind of like your typical sort of pointed toe boot 
and they've got the cutout heel here and um, I think I saw Diana with like the silver ones but I got the rose gold pair and yeah these are the Cory boots they were kind of my splurge item but I think you know I'll get tons of wear out of these I always wear black boots and all throughout winter and even summer it's just like my staple shoe they're, they're gonna be my staple black boots for like years and years to come I'm sure so yeah really excited about these but as I film this now it's raining outside so I don't know when I'll get to wear them but hopefully soon so that was all I got in Singapore I hope you guys enjoyed watching my first ever YouTube video please leave any suggestions down below on what other videos you'd like to see me um, do because I'd like to keep filming them please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys in my next video bye